And we're live, everyone. This is Amish Gamer, and I'll be returning to Amish Gamer casting Age of Empires 2 DE. And we're on the map Hideout. And for red, we have Solemn 1993 playing as Khmer. And for blue, we have Grizzly Bear 1 playing as the Britons. I noticed that a lot of these is just the standard colors, so I guess it's just certain people who are very picky with what colors they want to go with. That's when you start to see different colors. I prefer the two colors, it's a bit easier to tell. Like when it was blue and purple, it's not always the easiest because they're such similar shades. I mean it doesn't help that I have slight color blindness. Like it's not it's not severe where I can't tell. Like you know, traffic lights I could see the colors just fine. It's just that if two colors are very similar, I can't tell the difference. So, um yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Because Khmer is elephant. Just elephant, right? Siege and elephant, okay. CJ Elephant, Scorpions fire two projectiles. Are Scorpions good against range units? I'm actually curious because I feel like this might be one of the possible options. I mean, I guess their biggest issue is their range, right? It's only seven. Uh, seven range is not that insignificant. And then you get some upgrades that gives them, I think you get up to plus two range. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Play mail. But yeah, elephants will be a pain to deal with. I'm assuming these elephants are pretty hardy against archers, yeah. So even longbow, even if they have range, I mean, I guess, I guess if you have Ballista Elephants. Wait, do they count? Wait. Okay, so they have no armor. They have three Pierce armor, but they have no armor. Which means that if the enemy cavalry gets you, yeah, you're kind of in trouble. But, maybe against the Britons, these guys are not so bad. I mean, the range is kind of meh. And... Wait, was it actually showing footprints? Wait, did that did that always show footprints? I just didn't know. Yeah, I need like someone to walk over a reasonable distance. Oh it does! But well I guess I mean can you imagine if the footprints stayed? It would put uh I, I don't know what okay, blue is Oh no, blue. You want it closer to your... It's, it's okay. <laughs> blue should have like, draw the aggro a bit more. It's okay, they're they're roughly at the same uh, skill level, at least at first glance, because this one pulled that wild boar too early. Nothing against it. Nothing against players who... I don't know why, but these bushes... Look like these, but with snow? I think that's the only difference, right? I mean, those could be berries, I don't know. Maybe not enough. Now the question is, is either side... Actually, I don't think there are any deers or... Ibex inside. Yeah, they're all outside. So, so if they feel like it, yeah, they could go outside and of course the fact that you could build wait can you build farms on I mean it's all snow I'm assuming you can I know certain games is like okay you can only build farms on certain terrain I'm talking about stronghold I, I don't even know if people know about that game that game is old and it's sequels just get worse and worse but but that seems to be the case for most games even for Age of Empires series right it, it seems like 2 is more uh, popular than 3 
And honestly, uh, uh, unless four is amazing, a barracks. Wait, <laughs> a barracks from Britain, okay. But as I was saying, like, even if, you know, Age of Empires 4 comes out, I, I think that's the next one. It, well, how should I put it? Unless it's amazing, I think a lot of people will probably still stick with Age of Empires 2. Especially with D being as popular as it is. And I really need to find time to play so I could get better. But, I mean, finding time is probably easier than getting better. Getting better for me is a bit of a tall order. I still don't know why. I, I just don't know why this barracks was built. I mean, it's, it's possible that what Blue wants to do is. I mean, Blue hasn't even reached feudal age, so I don't know. It, yeah, I still don't get that barracks. Like, either you're building a barracks early to rush. Or you should be using that wood for other stuff. Like. Um. Okay, I'm like, are they gathering or is this a rush that I don't know of? Because <laughs> Blue is still not in feudal age yet. Red is. And the question is, will Red. Actually, how's Villagers? Villager Blue has. A bigger advantage but blue is also just now advancing so maybe that advantage will be cut short a house is built there oh what do you know red did decide to build a mill to gather more food maybe that's how red is able to Start feudal age so much sooner. I don't think. Never mind. Blue also went for this. The house. I guess blue just wants to get more villagers out, so that blue could accumulate more resources, and with that extra resource, can use it to. I have a feeling blue is going for archery range as soon as feudal age is ready, and maybe that's what. Blue is trying to do stockpile the resources. Um, wait, what? So blue lost a villager and red lost a scout cavalry. Interesting. Yeah, red has a slight lead. Slight. But blue still has the scale cavalry somewhere. Here. Okay, blue is now getting gold. Now the question is, is blue go getting a... Yeah, archer range. I, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. And if... And red doesn't have a barracks. So red isn't going to be... This might be a short game. If, if red doesn't have the proper defenses... Wait, is, is blue just walling off or is blue going for a rush? A rush will actually work pretty well. Because red is... They're forgers. I don't know where they get those back baskets. <laughs> Wait, they have a barracks? I'm so confused. Don't you... Don't you need... Wait. Is there something about Khmer that I'm overlooking? Oh, Red is going for Castle Age. Damn. Am I just being blind or is there something? Uh, no building required or to unlock. Oh, no buildings required to unlock other buildings. Okay, I, 
I only remember the the advanced to next age part. Okay, that makes sense. The the rush by blue probably won't go well. If red just goes for skirmishers, skirmishers counter all of these, so I mean blue might be able to take out a section of the wall. Might. But in terms of economy, yeah, blue is I mean blue is leading, but that's because red is already going for castle age. That's actually pretty pretty fast. And and red doesn't have a lot of these promotions up. Now, well red Yep, skirmishers. Wait. Why did red cancel skirmishers? What? Sk Skirmisher was the right call. I, I even saw it in queue and then and then it got cancelled. They're just building these houses. I mean you still want skirmishers, I mean un unless you get like a tower. Yeah, blue is... I, I still don't know why red cancelled the skirmisher. Like, that made no sense to me. Like, that was the right play. <laughs> red is getting another town center. Why red? I'm so confused. Why? Blacksmith. Like, I will understand if at least skirmishers really. Oh, that is bad. See, now you can't mine gold unless. Is there another source of gold? There's stone. But that's the thing; they they can't push through this fast enough. And if red hadn't canceled those skirmishers. Red will be able to deal with a good number of these. Right? Right now it's pretty delayed. I mean, if Red doesn't get skirmishers. I mean, yes, they are doing some damage, but it's not enough. And yeah, at least skirmishers. I mean, it kind of depends on which side they. Sh What is blue building? Blue is going all in on this. Or at least investing pretty heavily. I mean, blue is still not in castle age, so if this doesn't go well, this is going to go poorly. Yeah, blue is like going heavily. Oh, they're even getting watched. Yeah, this is such a weird game. I don't know why red is not reacting. Get some skirmishers. <laughs> yeah, these elite skirmishers are going to hurt. Of course, the fact that red didn't answer earlier allows blue to get a watchtower in here. Which is like really bad. I love how even the watchtower doesn't do that much. Oh, a castle. Yeah, if that gets built, then this push is mostly going to be... Is it attacking the... Okay, blue is going for that. Yeah, that's a lot of archers. If, if red doesn't get... Like, if red is like, oh, I got this castle, I'm safe. That is a very dangerous thing to believe. Red needs more. Uh, I mean, seven at least skirmishers. I mean, they can do all right. I mean, there's 17. Yeah, red does need a few more. Did blue just tear that down? I didn't pause the game.
Okay, I was like, I was like, huh? I didn't do it. Wait, I caught up and it's paused? Can I unpause it? But yeah, red has a lot of archers, but the problem here is... Blue is going for nothing but archers. And if that's the case, then what can end up, end up happening is... I mean, not only does red have at least skirmishers to deal with those, but red could also go for... I mean, it's, it's kind of risky. The ballista... Ballista elephants or whatever they're called. Yeah, ballista elephants. They're not exactly strong against buildings either, so... Huh. Yeah, double crossbow seems... Pr I mean, it's pretty expensive. But if done properly, I could see how it's... I mean, right now, blue has basically boxed red in... <gasps> ballista elephant. Oh, is red going to cut through? Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, did the blue go for another town center? I mean, I know blue just got into... Oh. Why is red not building anything? That's so weird. Okay, I caught up. Crossbow, okay. Yeah, they're just shooting at the walls. Why would you build a market there? That's, that's what I just don't get. <laughs> I mean, the, the castle definitely can... Make blue think twice pushing in that direction, but it sucks that I caught up, so now I have to wait. Yeah, these are these skirmishers should be able to. I'm curious why Imperial Age? <laughs> Man, red is like, I don't give a damn about. I don't give a damn about blue. I could hold blue off all day long. And the other thing is, like, red is not creating a larger... Yeah, red needs to get an economy advantage. Oh, wait. Okay, red is. I was like, I thought red wasn't building any. More crossbows? Ballista elephants. Actually, what Red needs is a siege workshop. Oh yeah, these guys are getting slaughtered. I mean, they have a bit more range, but this is not an engagement you want to take on. Especially when you consider that at least skirmishers almost numbered the same. Actually, I guess the alternative is just get trebuchets and just wreck those and then create a path and just break through it. Yeah, I can't speed up. That sucks. I wonder how long red will remember. But yeah, blue is like, this is not good. <laughs> Or in Pure Age, Bracer, Conscription, what's the other one? I don't have the text memorized. It will be a long time. Tusk Sword? Actually, battle Elephants wouldn't be a bad idea. Does Blue still only have one Town Center? Blue is only now getting a second town center. But I mean, 
Blue still has a better economy due to more villagers. But it, look, it looks like red is getting ready for. Yeah, that's Tusk Swords, Handcart, Blue Skirmisher. Yeah, red's economy isn't as good, which could be an issue. I mean, if red plays properly, just get some trebuchets, cut enough of this so that, like, take out the lumber camp. Getting a lot of upgrades, bloodlines, you're getting elephants? At least that's what it looks like. The lines, ballistics. Like if red really focuses on military, it could work out. Oh yeah, the mangano. Really, a town center that close to the enemy. That doesn't seem like the smartest thing. And that's the thing, like, if that Magno gets some good shots, those skirmishers are dead. Battle elephants. Still only two town centers. This might be a long match. <laughs> University. Getting a castle. Like, red has a huge advantage right now. Now red just needs to get some trebuchets one of these days. Like I feel for like my ideal approach here is that I just soon they'll be in range to attack villagers. That's actually pretty scary. Oh my god, look at those mangonos. But the problem is, as long as there's a castle there, I mean, I guess you could go around it. That castle isn't, like, perfectly placed. Are you getting a trebuchet? Come on. N none of these other ones are great at taking out buildings. Battle elephants. Wait, are battle elephants good against buildings? I just don't know. Cavalry, infantry, archers. I guess if you get enough and they're tanky. Oh. <laughs> Hello, we bring gifts. Oh, it's a good thing they have loom. Otherwise, they'll die even faster. I know blue is like, ah, oh, shoot. I don't think they'll finish this castle, just saying. Oh wait, no, that's... That's Red's castle. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna... Yeah, this is... Oh, there is a... Op There's a gap there? Huh, interesting. Are the Magnos also coming back? No. Uh, I don't think the archers will suffice. Oh, blue is taking so much damage. I mean, the problem is blue is also not sending them to the town center. And yeah, these crossbows don't want to face this. Oh, this is not going to end well. Yeah, these battle elephants can take so many hits. Oh, uh, blue... Red is like over microing. Yeah, blue is like, I can't even defend my own <laughs> city center. Look at all of these builders. Oh, now, now red is building a siege workshop. It's like, yeah, this is what I think about it. Siege workshop built. 
Yeah, red is not in. I mean, sorry, blue is not in a great position, but blue also spread out quite a bit, so does have answers. But I guess the problem with these uh, pikemen is that they're not great against skirmishers. Yeah, this town center. Yeah, blue lost so much. Blue lost like oh. I think over 20 villagers. And when you look at the losses for red, it's like. It's crazy. Yeah, red is like, I'm just going to build a new base right here. I like blue's base location better. Yeah, not looking great for blue. Now, if those mangonos can land some good hits, yeah, they'll, they'll do well. But, actually what Blue should be getting is a monastery. Converting those over is going to hurt. I mean, wait, does does Britain even have halberdiers? If they don't, that's a problem. No, they have halberdiers. I don't know why Blue isn't getting them. See, that's the thing, right? The, these crossbows can't do much. I mean, if they attack through here, yeah, they could... I mean, that is one way. Well, unless that castle is built, then. Yeah, red is like getting all the bases covered. Oh, that ballista elephant's dead. Yeah, you definitely need answers to those mangonos. Yeah, get some like hussars to deal with these mangonos. You should be fine. Actually, sending even sending in the villagers against that is wait what trebuchet? Oh, bomb bar cannon! Oh no, that is bad. And because they're so um, I guess don't damage your own castle. Eesh. Yeah, right now, these are all... Oh, no. I think blue is con gonna concede soon. Like, blue doesn't even have half of red's military. Base is in shambles. Somehow, blue still have more villagers. Got another town center. Blue is still trying to recover from this. It's not gonna be easy, especially with these bombard... Well, Bombard Cannon. I only know of one. Yeah, Barracks gone. Oh, yeah, if they could get some good hits. Oh, you don't want them to get so close? I think that elephant's dead. No, they're, they're actually pretty damn tanky. Yeah, that's a lot of battle elephants. I mean, they, they are going to get slaughtered by pikemen. That's why I don't get it. It's like, why is red... Like, why is red just getting cavalry units? Get some of these skirmishers and these guys won't be a problem. I mean, blue is definitely not out. Like, blue's economy is still better. Unless if blue targets... Oh, never mind. Red, red is like... My least skirmishers say hi. With their javelins. I mean, still kudos for blue for still... You know, stay in it, try to see if he or she could make a comeback. But yeah, part of the issue is Blue wasn't ready for... I mean, this was aggressive. <laughs> it, like, the... Blue went for a standard build, you know, expand, get town centers. Nothing wrong with that, but 
Blue should have anticipated that this could have been a possibility. So maybe red, uh, Blue should have built a castle here to stop any attacks here. But overall, I, I feel like Red just had control overall. Red was just able to control the tempo. And honestly, just, just the least skirmisher was able to like counter everything that Red uh, Blue fielded. So it wasn't exactly tough for Red. Like I feel Blue just did the pressure enough and was able to turn things around, right? And that gave Red a chance to get into Imperial Age basically unpunished. And what that ended up happening is Red was just able to pull ahead and never had to look back. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you have a good one. Bye.